As if life isn't fun enough. My modeler, Jay Ross, gave me this. This new head to print. Nice little uh, lace around the ponytail. Ears. Let's see how these ears look. This model scaled at 80%. So. Let's see how these ears look. I haven't looked at this model the first time I opened it up here. Uh, yeah, we definitely have some ears just hanging out in the air there. Nice long ponytail. A little bit of hair in the front. I think this model is trying to kill me. He subscribed to my YouTube channel, so I can say that. Let's see. He's got the ears pretty well attached there. Everything looks all right, but that's a model. What are we going to do with this, folks? What are we going to do with this? <clears throat> wow. You got this nice lace around the ponytail. I don't want to print this against the bed because, you know, you're going to kind of lose all all the work that was put into there. They got a key going into the neck and the hair. Uh, they got the ear hanging over the top of the face. So, I mean, if you supported it this way, start that on the build plate, you're gonna support all of this and then you're gonna have to catch this. You get the eye la eyebrows here, nose peak. That would definitely be a little tough to do that way. How about we hit this hair on the build plate? We skim right through like this. We catch the ear, the neck cut, and the hair at one point. Let's try that. Um, my mouse pretty squared so we're going to rotate this all the way around hey, we might be able to actually catch three points here let's see let's zoom in on what we got right now we got two points here and we can rotate this get both of these on the build plate dropping down a little bit because that's the lowest point right now even when I rotate this slightly that's still the lowest point so we have to come in this way a little bit it's very tough to see what we got here See, we still got an air gap there. This one's all right. Let's try to put a little slight. Well, it's, it's almost like playing pool. You know, you watch the guys playing billiards. <laughs> Go line up a shot. I still got a little air gap on this side. Uh, 
supports will come up because most of this ear they'll almost come through and around this one to catch that ear our hair ribbon here is mostly unmolested by supports I mean there's going to be a lot but not like directly going into them that's, that's usually when your stuff gets messy this hair got pretty good contact point right there so we got one two three contact points uh, the printer's gonna finish up somewhere on the eyelash here looks like it's gonna finish up on here so the face the face should be all right as long as we don't have any support failures here we might be all right let's uh let's do a miracle slice on this thing and let's see what we get so this came out less time 14 hours 59 minutes uh, it's not bad. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna save it to a file first. Let's take a look at what we got for support here. I'm not sure why the other one took another 10 hours, but there must be a slight, I think there's a slight ridge on this ear, so model supports came up around to kind of grab that too, which in the end might be a good thing. Um, we got a lot of support through the ear here and pretty much the whole bottom of the head around the lace. We got some non-contact on the lace, which is good. Uh, whole ponytail supported. Let's go back to the prepare view here. We got the top of this keyway supported also. Alrighty. Let's send this off to the printer and see what kind of disaster pops up. Take care and happy printing.